Welcome to this week's extended video review. This is the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, very nice device, you can see. This is the case that covers it. It's pretty nice, it's protective. This is the screen, allows air to flow around your face. I've actually heard from a number of people online that this is the piece right here in the middle. So this piece is the one that cracks, comes with a uh, light blocking shield that seals on. Of course, you can go put the cover back on. It actually becomes a set of VR goggles with that. And then, of course, there is the power supply, which you'll notice I'm charging. Um, I'm sitting at 7% right now, so I'm going to go ahead and charge the power supply. It's not a bad power brick. And this is the connector from the power supply to the Apple Vision Pro. So not bad. Now, let's talk a little bit about why people get the Apple Vision Pro. We're going to take it here. Um, first of all, I use the Apple Magic Keyboard. Um, simply because I find it a lot a lot easier using the keyboard uh, in the ARVO world. And I'm going to move the Microsoft stuff there. Uh, and then this is the extra cable that goes over the top. This allows you to have a little bit more control. I don't ever use the device standing up or walking around. I only use it sitting down. So because I'm only sitting down, I don't, I don't have some of the problems. The K or the uh, strap is, is fairly comfortable. I don't have a problem with it. Uh, in fact, overall, I would say the strap is, is very comfortable. Like, but this is the additional one. And then obviously I mentioned I use the keyboard. Now, a couple of things about the device. First of all, you can load apps on it, which is nice. Um, you can actually connect it to your Macintosh and share your screen of your Macintosh onto the Vision Pro, which is really nice. Um, it also interacts, so I use the um, OpenAI product with this. Uh, I've cross-loaded a number of applications. Um, the thing that I find the most impressive, both this and the other AR, VR products that are on the market today, the thing that I find the most interesting, the most intriguing, and for me the most valuable, um, is the reality of the virtual or, or augmented reality experience. In particular for me, I've, I've been playing a lot with the Starfield and the Dinosaur uh, capabilities in AR, right? So I'm able to go see, view dinosaurs, interact with the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs recognize that you're there. In the star field, I can select stars in the in the heavens and take a look. Um, it's things that I find important and valuable, uh, for me anyway, uh, because that's kind of my geeky world. Um, but, you know, the, the Apple Vision Pro is a good product. It is a little heavy. If you put it on your head, uh, unlike the, the Quest, uh, it will weigh your head down quite a bit. Uh, but it does give you a very nice uh, viewing and interaction experience. Uh, I find it uh, very useful. I enjoy it uh, particularly when interacting with my voice with Siri. Uh, and so with the next release, the Vision OS 2, which is coming... Uh, probably in the September time frame, along with iOS 18 and, and watch OS 11, um, will be a little bit more capabilities for Siri to be a little bit smarter, a little bit more interactive with you. But overall, uh, my initial impressions of the device is it's, it's a great first leap into this concept of what is spatial computing. Um, in the future, I suspect we're all going to have devices like this or the Quest 3 or, or even the Microsoft HoloLens that will give us the capacity to have multiple large screen monitors. Um, you know, I, I, use, I use two monitors on some of my computers, one on most of them, but it's a 40 plus inch monitor, so it becomes easier to use. But the concept of spatial computing becomes an interesting uh, kind of paradigm as we go forward. Anyway, this is my review of the actual of the Apple Vision Pro. Thanks for viewing.